Hi, here is this week's major space news from around the world. Starship Update DAC Tank 7 was rolled out to the launch site this week, while the DAC Test Tank was rolled back to the bull site. The Starship's one of the quick disconnect QD arm was lifted and installed on the orbit launch tower. The SpaceX shared a short video of a Falcon 9 rocket booster returning to the Earth and landing on the drone ship. The footage shows a look down along the rocket as it nears the water, extends its landing legs and comes in for the picture-perfect touchdown in the middle of the drone ship named Shortfall of Gravitas, which was waiting in the Atlantic Ocean. The SpaceX's first fully private astronaut crew have revealed the first real look at the unique part of the Crew Dragon spacecraft that will carry them to the orbit just two weeks from now. Inspiration for the mission is the brainchild of the ship for CEO founder and billionaire Jared Isaacman. It will be the first orbital astronaut launch dedicated exclusively to the space tourism. A step further aside from its more symbolic role in the potential future of the orbital space tourism, Inspiration 4 will also check off several major technical firsts, each impressive in its own right. The first and the foremost, perhaps the most unique technical aspect of Inspiration 4 will be the custom-built cupola SpaceX has replaced the Crew Dragon's docking port. Plans for the large transparent dome were revealed in March 2021, and according to Isaacman himself, SpaceX effectively took the idea from paper concept to real-world human weighted hardware in just six months. Initially shown off in an official render, Dragon's Dome was portrayed as completely uninterrupted glass-like hemisphere where the spacecraft's docking port would normally go. US Air Force rescue teams have completed training in preparation for a possible emergency bailer of space launches by SpaceX and Boeing. The teams included para-rescue men, airmen, and maritime operations from 38th Rescue Squadron from the Moody Air Force Base in Georgia. SpaceX plans to launch a Crew 3 mission on October 31st, for which the 38th RSQ said it will be prepared to respond if needed. A Twitter user spotted an odd piece of machinery heading down German Autobahn Highway this way. The machinery had chain wheels of a Jane Crane with the SpaceX logo on it, which seemed to be heading from Austria to a port in either Hamburg, Germany, or Rotterdam in Netherlands. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk later seemingly confirmed the purchase, treating of a new crane. Australia's startup that's developing small, cheap rockets to deliver the batteries of satellites to space attempted to put one of its 40-foot-tall rockets into the orbit on last week. The boat's flight attempt, the third of the Astra's automated rocket, failed during the launch. Rather than climbing skyward, the 43-foot-tall rocket hovered sideways of its launch pad before attempting to right itself, at which point it climbed about 30 miles into the air, then only to cut off the engine's power and plunge back into the ocean. A Texas-based Firefly aims to secure a large share of small satellite launch market with Alpha. Firefly Aerospace came up short in its first attempt to reach the final frontier. The Firefly rocket launched on company's first-ever orbital test flight on September 2nd, lifting off from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California on California local time on September 3rd. The launch came nearly an hour after the initial try was aborted late in the countdown. Everything looked good for the first 2.5 minutes of the flight, but the two-stage 95-foot-tall rocket, the Alpha then suffered a fatal problem, exploding in the dramatic fireball high in the California sky. Hope we covered all the news of space last week. That's all for this week. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.